Lakote water. How can active hydrogen cure diseases? There are several hypotheses. Active hydrogen reacts with active oxygen, which is considered the cause of many kinds of disease, to make water. In contrast with active hydrogen, active oxygen, sometimes called poisonous oxygen, is a strong oxidant and thought to be a cause of a variety of diseases because it destroys cells by oxidation. Active oxygen is generated when cells produce energy or when we are under stress. Active oxygen is unstable because it has one more electron than molecular oxygen and it tends to snatch an electron out of a normal cell to cause its death. According to Professor Shidahata, if the concentration of active hydrogen in the body is high, active oxygen reacts with it to become non-poisonous water and is removed from the body. Against what diseases is active hydrogen efficacious? How can active hydrogen cure diseases? Here are Dr. Shirahata's hypotheses. 1. Its effect on allergy. Immunocompetent cells protect us from infectious diseases by attacking viruses or foreign matter by releasing active oxygen. But they sometimes unnecessarily attack foreign matter, such as pollen, and release too much active oxygen, which hurts normal cells. This is the cause of allergy. However, if there is a sufficient amount of active hydrogen in the body, it quenches active oxygen to ease allergy. Number two, effect on diabetes. Diabetes is a metabolic disorder of glucose caused by an insufficiency of insulin production by the pancreas or of insulin activity or a defect of the glucose receptor. Removal of active oxygen by active hydrogen eases diabetes because the insulin producing cells and glucose receptors are sensitive to active oxygen. Number three, effect on hypertension. Unsaturated fatty acids of lipids react with active oxygen to form sludgy peroxylipids, which stick to the walls of the blood vessels to cause arteriosclerosis. As a result, the blood flow gets stagnant and blood pressure gets higher. Active hydrogen, by scavenging active oxygen, prevents unsaturated fatty acids from reacting with active oxygen. Four is its effect on viral infection. When viruses get into the body, immunocompetent cells attack the viruses with active oxygen and protect us. But if the number of viruses is too great, immunocompetent cells keep releasing active oxygen and finally kill themselves. Then the number of viruses further increases to cause infection. Active hydrogen reacts with excess active oxygen and protects immunocompetent cells from suicidal reaction. As a result, it eases infectious diseases. According to Dr. Paolo Carloni of Italy, it is possible that active hydrogen is efficacious against AIDS virus. After getting into human cells, the AIDS virus releases protease, 
an enzyme that is essential to its propagation. Active hydrogen has a tendency to react with protease and prevent the virus from multiplying. Therefore, the number of AIDS viruses decreases and the symptoms of AIDS takes a favorable turn. Number five, its effect on cancer. The telomere, a special DNA sequence seen at the end of the DNA chain, gets shorter after every cell division. When the telomere is completely lost, no more cell division occurs and the cell dies in due time. However, telomerase of cancer cells repairs the telomere and the cell division of cancer cells continues forever. According to Professor Shirahata, active hydrogen blocks the telomere telomerase interaction and makes the lifetime of cancer cells limited. As mentioned, active hydrogen contained in the Lakote water is thought to be effective against a wide variety of diseases. Why is Lakote water rich in active hydrogen? Active hydrogen is quite unstable and easily changes into molecular hydrogen by coupling. Therefore, almost no active hydrogen exists in well water generally. According to Professor Shirahata, under some special conditions there exists natural active hydrogen. According to the professor, the geographical features around Lakote provide the special conditions. First, high temperature and high pressure. Lakote is located in the middle of Mexico and there are six young active volcanoes within a four kilometer radius. They are only several hundred years old and still very active. Several hundred meters to several thousand meters below the surface, the temperature reaches several thousand degrees centigrade because of magma. Under these conditions, some decomposition of water takes place and the generation of active hydrogen becomes easier. But active hydrogen so generated usually couples to be molecular hydrogen. Another condition is necessary for the production of active hydrogen rich water like Lakote water and that is minerals. Minerals are extracted into Lakote underground water from rocks and stones like basalt. According to Professor Shirahata, it is possible that these minerals take in active hydrogen and prevent them from coupling. Therefore, the water still abounds in active hydrogen when it comes up to the surface. In the final analysis, therefore, the story of Lakote water is the story of active hydrogen and its amazing curative powers.